हेलो एवरीवन सो वेलकम बैक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ एप्टीट्यूड वन मोर टॉपिक दैट इज क्यूब्स एंड डाइसेस सो होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्यूब्स एंड डाइसेस क्यूब्स एंड डाइसेस इज एक्चुअली द रीजनिंग पार्ट द रीजनिंग यू नो दैट एप्टीट्यूड इट विल बी डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट दैट इज क्वांट एज वेल एज रीजनिंग क्वांट विच डील्स विथ नंबर्स ओके न्यूमरिकल एबिलिटी रीजनिंग इज एक्चुअली योर एनालिटिकल स्किल्स okay so moving further today's topic in the cubes and dices first of all we'll discuss cubes then we'll enter into the topic dices but actually what we'll understand in this first we have to understand the dimensions of the cubes okay and once you understand cube a bit easier will be the topic that is dices so we'll understand the dimensions its dimension further we'll i even understand if we give the cuts in the cube a bigger cube if we get the cuts how many smaller cubes will be formed how the cuts will be given okay what are its properties we'll understand later on we'll enter into the dices topic where we'll understand in the dices what exactly the different type of dices are there in the market and what question they give you in the various competitive exam based on dices so we'll practice all the questions based on cubes as well as dices let us start with the topic that is cubes cubes my dear friend the place where you are sitting and watching the class or is the place where you'll write the exam that room that room will be definitely in the form of a cube even if it is not a cube it will be in the form of a cuboid so whether it is cube or cuboid important is what are the dimensions we have to understand first of all let me ask you how many faces will be there in the cube how many faces will be there so what is faces the room where you are sitting all the walls ceiling and floor will be called as faces all the four walls ceiling and floor 1 2 3 4 5 6 total six faces will be there so a cube consists of six faces now how many edges will be there edges are those line segments by which the face is created those line segment by which the face is created if you see towards the ceiling there are four lines which are making the ceiling and similarly the four lines are making the floor so 4 plus 4 8 even we have four such lines which join ceiling and the floor so it consists of total 12 edges 4 4 and 4 total 12 edges how many vertices will be there vertices in plural form singular form we can say vertex now what is vertex the point the point where edges meet each other vertices are those point where edges are meeting each other so if you see in the ceiling there are four such points where edges are meeting similarly in the floor also four such points where edges are meeting or the, you can even call it as in running english we call it as corners so it consists of total eight corners eight vertices a cube consists of six faces 12 edges and eight vertices if you see here Okay here I have drawn the diagram clear it is faces 1 2 3 okay one left four bottom five and behind one more that is six it consists of six faces and edges are the line segment in the ceiling four lines in the floor four lines and four lines joining ceiling and floor so it consists of 12 edges vertex vertex are those point where edges are meeting each other so one point two point three point Four point four in the ceiling. Similarly, four points will be there in the floor as well. So it consists of total eight vertices. Now, my dear friend, let us understand a cube. I am drawing one cube over here. Okay, I am drawing one cube over here. This is the cube, and in this cube, I am giving three cuts. Listen carefully. I am giving three cuts on each edges to form smaller cubes of equal size. i am giving three cuts on each edges to form smaller cubes of equal size like if i give one cut two cut again three cuts one edge i have given the cut another edge also one cut two cut and three cuts further here also one two and three then how many smaller cubes will be formed small small total how many cubes will be formed 
so if you can see over here i have given three cuts on each edges to form smaller cubes of equal size how many smaller cubes will be formed some people they say sir here it is visible that here it is total 4 and 4 that is 16 so 16 16 16 they count like that let me tell you it's wrong when you are counting this 16 and this 16 the corner one is common for both of them so let us count like this if this cube is visible to you my dear friend this is the front layer this is the first layer am i right in this first layer how many cubes we are having 1 2 3 4 Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 16. 4, 4 are 16 cubes are there in the front layer. So, if first layer is having 16 cube, similarly, second layer will be also having 16 cube. Similarly, third layer also 16 cube. Similarly, last layer also 16 cube. So, 16 in 4 layer. 16, 4 are 64. So, 64 smaller cubes will be formed. What I am talking about layer, I have defined here very clearly to you. This is the layer, first layer. Okay, first layer we are having total, in this layer we are having total how many? That is 16 and like that we got 4 layers. So, 4 layers 1, 2, 3, 4, so 16 fours are 64 or else try to understand if I give X cut, if I give X cut on each edges, number of cubes formed will be X plus 1 power 3. How many cuts I am giving on each edges? I am giving 3 cuts on each edges. The number of cubes formed will be 3 plus 1 power 3 that is 4 cube. 4 cube means 64. If I give 5 cuts on each edges, the number of cubes formed will be definitely 6 cube. 6 cube that is 216. If I give 8 cuts on each edges, the number of cubes formed will be 9 cube that is 729. If I give 9 cuts on each edges, the number of cubes formed will be 1000, which is 10 cube. Means whatever the cut I am giving, in that plus 1 and then power 3 I am doing to find total number of smaller cubes formed. Now, let us understand, in the cube there are total 7 different patterns of question. In the examination, they won't ask you all the 7 questions, they will ask you any one. But we should be prepared with all the 7 questions because they can ask any one. So, we should know all the seven questions. So, let us understand the data clearly. Here, you can see it is given a cube was painted on one of the opposite pair faces as black. A cube was taken and opposite pair faces was painted black. One, one pair is painted black, one opposite pair faces. Like for example, right side wall if I do black, then opposite pair is left wall. So, these two will be painted black and remaining four faces as red six faces were there two is covered so remaining four faces will be red further they are saying four cuts were given on each edges to form smaller cubes of equal size after doing this painting they are doing the four cuts on every edge to form smaller cubes of equal size so this is the data given to you based on this data they will ask you any one question but as I said you, there are total 7 different patterns of question. So, we will understand what are those 7 questions. Let us see the questions over here. Here you can see, parallelly I have written all the 7 questions. The very first question, how many cubes will be formed? Which we just now we have understood how many cubes will be formed, how to find that. We will discuss the answer one by one everything. Second question, how many cubes will have no face painted at all? How many such smaller cubes will be there which will be having no face painted? None of their face should be painted. Okay. Third question. How many cubes will have only one face painted? How many such smaller cubes will be formed which will be having only one face painted? Remaining five face should be unpainted. So, how many such cubes will be there? Fourth question they are asking. How many cubes will have only two face painted and that two with the same color? My dear friend, condition also they have given. First of all, they are saying only, only and exactly, both the words are same. Only two face painted, exactly two face painted and both the face should have same color. Next question, if you see the fifth one they have given, how many cubes will have only two face painted but with different color? Means here also same it is but the last condition they are changing. Here also we have to find only two face painted cube but now this time the color should be different both the faces should have different color moving to the sixth question how many cubes will have 
एटलीस्ट टू फेस पेंटेड एटलीस्ट मिनिमम टू फेस शुड बी पेंटेड मैक्सिमम इट कैन बी ऑल ओके मिनिमम टू फेस पेंटेड हाउ मेनी विल बी देयर टू और मोर मीन्स एटलीस्ट मीन्स टू और मोर फेस पेंटेड हाउ मेनी सर स्मॉलर क्यूब्स विल बी देयर and the last question goes like how many cubes will have three face painted so my dear friend we have to understand all this question because they will ask you any one so let us go with the data again going back to the data and based on the data we'll sort out all these seven question first of all the data a cube was painted on the opposite pair faces as black so here you can see in the figure the ceiling and floor i made black opposite pair face ceiling and floor i made it as black and remaining four faces means the walls i made it as red okay the walls was made as red further they are saying four cuts were given on each edges to form smaller cubes of equal size means in this now after doing this paint we have to give four cuts four cuts on each edges to form smaller cubes of equal size one cut here two three Four, four in one edge it happened. Further four here also one, two, three, and four. Similarly in the third here also one, two, three, and four. Four cuts we are giving on each edges to form smaller cubes of equal size. Now how many smaller cubes will be formed? That was the very first question. We are giving the four cuts now, and now they are asking. First question was. how many cubes are formed so i think this question will be very easy to you because you have understood we have given four cuts on each edges the number of cubes formed will be 4 plus 1 power 3 that is 5 cube 5 cube means 125 is the answer for this question clear now moving to the second question second question what did they ask second question they ask how many cubes will have no face painted at all let us understand my dear friend one cube we are painting from the top and the bottom as black and walls as green sorry red walls as red now let us understand from the top if i remove one layer from bottom if i remove one layer and sides also one one layer if i remove in the middle whatever cube will be there it will be having no face painted at all like in this room if you say right side one layer i removed left side one layer i removed back one layer front layer one top layer and one bottom layer then in the middle whatever cube will be there that will be those cubes will be having no face painted at all why because from which side i am painting that layer itself i am removing are you getting me or else like this here top layer i removed bottom layer side one one layer inside cube will be having no face painted anyhow or else you can understand like this as well let's say here if this cube is visible to you my dear friend here you can say this is the front layer this is the front layer am i right in this front layer in this front layer let us understand if i take these cubes if i take these cubes these cubes will be having only one face painted these cubes will be having only one face painted why only one face painted because remaining portion will be inside so in them in those face paint won't be there so these cubes are having only one face painted how many are there 1 2 3 1 2 3 means nine cubes these nine cubes are having one face painted but try to understand behind this nine exactly behind this nine in the second layer whatever nine cube will be having that nine cube will be having no face painted at all because from front it will be there so similarly in the third layer also nine cube similarly in the fourth layer also nine cube but in the last layer from that side one side painted will be there so nine in three layers means nine threes are for this question the answer is 27 is it clear or else try to understand we have understood that if we give x cut if we give x cut on each edges total number of cubes how many we are getting number of cubes formed we are getting that is equal to x plus 1 power 3 now if they ask you number of cubes having no face painted at all then it will be x minus 1 power 3 if they ask you total number of cube formed x plus 1 power 3 if they ask you total number of cubes having no face painted at all that will be x minus power 3 
एक्स माइनस वन पावर थ्री वेर एक्स मीन नंबर ऑफ कट्स गिवेन ऑन ईच एजेस लाइक इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिविंग थ्री कट्स ऑन ईच एजेस सो नंबर ऑफ क्यूब फॉर्म विल बी थ्री प्लस वन पावर थ्री दैट इज फोर क्यूब फोर क्यूब मीन सिक्सटी फोर ओके हियर हाउ मेनी कट्स वी वर गिविंग फोर कट्स सो इफ वी गिव फोर कट्स इन दैट केस वॉट विल हैपन फोर प्लस वन पावर थ्री दैट इज फाइव क्यूब फाइव क्यूब मीन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव विल बी द आंसर फॉर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन बट How many cubes have no face painted at all? It will be five minus. Sorry, number of cuts. How many are there? Four. So four minus one power three, which is equal to three cube. Three cube means it is twenty-seven. If they ask you number of cube formed, x plus one power three. If they ask you number of cubes having no face painted at all, it will be x minus one power three, where x means number of cuts given on each edge. So first two question clear. Now moving to the third question. What is the third question? How many cubes will have only one face painted? While discussing the previous question, when we were taking the front layer, in this front layer, these cubes were having only one face painted. If I am not wrong, these cubes were having only one face painted because remaining portion was inside. How many were there here? Three and three. Nine were there. So nine cubes are having only one face painted. Now, similarly, if you see. Here also, these nine cubes will be having only one face painted because remaining portion inside. Similarly, here also, these nine cubes will be having only one face painted because remaining portion is inside. So, my dear friend, nine in every face we are getting. The bigger cube, every face we are getting nine. Nine here, nine bottom, nine top, nine left side, right side, left side. So, total, how many faces are there? Six faces are there, and every face we are getting nine nine cubes. So. Total bigger cube is having six faces, and every face the nine nine cubes. So nine six are. If I am not wrong, fifty four is the answer here. Is it clear? Simple. Now don't expect that I'll say you formula for everything. Let me remember this is completely your reasoning. Reasoning means your analytical skills, your thinking ability. The more you are good at imagination, the more faster you can do. In the starting. if you are practicing you can draw the diagram and practice once you are well versed with the diagram later on with imagination you practice because my suggestion would be in the examination don't waste your time in drawing this cube and all just with imagination the room why i am saying again and again the room the room where you are sitting that will be definitely in the form of a cube or cuboid you can imagine that and accordingly you can say the answer okay but starting you can practice with the drawing the diagram moving to the next question next question was how many cubes will have only two face painted but with same color first of all we have to understand two face painted where we'll get where we can get the two face painted two face painted always it will come on edges two face painted it will always come on edges like for example here in the diagram if you can see here here this one if this edge you are taking see which edge i am taking this edge i am taking if this edge i am taking forget about the corner cube because corner cube what will happen it will be having three face painted corner one the vertex cube will be having three face painted they want only two face painted so my dear friend only two face painted forget about the corner one if you take this one one two Three. These three cubes are having only two face painted, but the problem is that top it is black and front it is red. We want color should be same. So now same colors. Where we have kept the same colors on the walls. We are keeping the same color on the walls. Four walls. Okay. So we have to take that very edge where walls are meeting each other. The edge. where the walls are meeting each other like for example instead of taking this one we have to take which one this one are you getting me this we have to take okay in this once again be careful don't take the corner cube because corner cube will be having three face painted don't take the corner one the corner will be having three face painted this one 1 2 3 these three cubes will be having only two face painted and that two with the same color both are red it means for the bigger cube which edge we are considering the edge which is starting from ceiling 
and ending at floor we are considering that edge which is starting from ceiling and ending at floor how many such edges are there which start from ceiling and end at floor 1 2 3 4 four such edges are there which starts from ceiling and end at floor and every edge we are getting how many cubes 3 3 cubes so 4 3 is a 4 edges and every edge 3 3 cubes so 4 3 is a 12 is the answer over here simple now let's see the next question next question they ask how many cubes will have i think that question over here it is not there but they have said with different color next question was just the same thing everything now they are asking with different color now they ask different color so different color what we have to do just now we have seen we have to take this very edge am i right in this edge forget about the corner cube because corner cube will be having three face painted which one 1 2 3 these are having only two face painted and that two with different color top it is black front it is red so here you got three similarly here also these three will be having only two face painted and that two with the different color similarly these two will be having only two face painted and that two with the different color and similarly these three will be having only two face painted and that two with the different color means in the ceiling how many we got 3 3 6 3 9 and 3 12 in the ceiling see if you are getting 12 in the ceiling 12 will be there in the floor also these three cubes will be having only two face painted and that two in the different color because front it is red bottom it will be black similarly these three cubes will be having only two face painted and that two with the different color means in ceiling we are getting 12 in the floor 12 so 12 plus 12 for this different color your answer will come 12 plus 12 that is 24 is the answer consider consider that they asked you the question how many cubes will have at least two sorry how many cubes will have only two face painted only that much they ask how many cubes will have only two face painted no further condition same color different color they have not given they require how many cubes will have only two face painted only two face painted where we are getting on edges we are getting how many edges are there in the bigger cube there are total 12 edges and every edge we are getting 3 3 cubes so our answer if condition is not given 12 into 3 that is 36 will be the answer how many cubes will have only two face painted then it will be 36 12 edges every edge 3 3 cube you can even see same color when we were considering we were getting the answer 12 different color when we were getting we have we were getting the answer 24 If no condition is given, twelve plus twenty-four, the answer becomes thirty-six. Clear? Now moving to the next question. Next question was: How many cubes will have at least two face painted? Minimum two face painted. Maximum it can be as many, but two face should be compulsory painted. More than two also you have to count. Less than two should not be counted. Before going for this question, let us go to the first, the last question. What they ask? Last question was. How many cubes will have three face painted? Now three face painted where will get at the corners. At the corners will be getting three face painted. If I am not wrong, at the corners. Okay, these will be having three face painted. The vertex. How many vertex are there? Eight vertex. And every vertex one one cube you will be getting, which will be having three face painted. Every vertex one one cube. There are total eight vertex. and every vertex 1 1 cube so for this the answer is 8 as simple as that but coming back to the previous question previous question was how many cubes will have at least two face painted my dear friend when i am asking how many cubes have only two face painted what is the answer we are getting only two face painted not more than two not less than two only two face painted we are getting 36 answer only two face painted now because they are asking at least two at least two face painted means even three face will be also added here so three face painted we are getting eight so 36 plus 8 if i am not wrong for this question the answer will be 44 so this is how we have to do it completely with imagination starting as i said you you can draw practice but later on practice with imagination let's see some more questions based on this moving to the 
here you can see they have given the data a solid cube has been painted yellow blue and black on pairs of opposite sides one pair yellow another pair blue and another pair black okay total three pairs because six faces are there total three pairs okay yellow blue and black on pairs of opposite face further they are saying the cube is cut into 36 smaller cubes now they are cutting that bigger cube to make 36 small cubes such that 32 cubes are of same size 32 is of same size while 4 are of bigger size out of 36 32 is small size and 4 are bigger size also no face of any bigger cube is painted blue so they have given you with the data the diagram also how the cuts they are giving clearly they have given in the question the diagram as well you can see in the middle four cubes bigger it is and these cubes here these cubes you can find 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 16 here and 16 the other side okay so 16 and 16 32 are smaller cubes okay and four bigger cubes in the middle this is how the cut they have given and they even said also no face of the bigger cube is painted blue they have mentioned the colors how they have done if you see the white one is actually black painted here black left also black Okay, the little shaded is actually blue painted. That is the smaller cubes, the front one. Similarly, the back. Okay, and the deeply shaded is actually the yellow color. Top and bottom is the yellow color. They clearly mention no face of any bigger cube is painted blue. Blue we are doing here in the front and back. So, in the middle, the bigger one will be not having any blue paint. Okay, now moving further with this data, what is the question they are giving? Let us understand the question. Very first question they asked, how many cubes have at least one face painted blue? At least one, pay, one face should have the blue color. Compulsory. At least one face painted blue. My dear friend, the smaller cubes, all these 16 cubes are having one face painted blue. Similarly, that side also, these 16 cubes will be having one face painted blue. That is back side. Blue paint will be there front and back opposite pair they are painting blue so 16 plus 16 for this the answer will be 32 very simple in the question itself they have given the data that bigger cubes are not having blue face painted so only the smaller cubes here smaller cubes are 32 is the answer moving to the next question how many cubes have only one face painted only one face painted remaining five faces should be unpainted now let us understand the front layer this is the front layer in this front layer these four cubes will be having only one face painted because remaining portion will be inside so here four and opposite side also four so four plus four here the answer becomes eight as simple as that don't take the bigger cube because bigger cube is having two face painted Okay, they are asking you only one face painted. So, only the smaller one will be there. Here four and that side four. In the middle it is. Okay, moving to the next question. How many cubes have two or more face painted? Two or more means at least two. They are talking about at least two. Two or more means at least two they are talking about. So, how many cubes have at least two face painted or two or more face painted? Two face painted where will get? As you know on the edges. If you take this edge, here two face painted, these are there, only two face painted. These two are there. Similarly, here in this edge, these two are there. Similarly, here also these two, here also these two. Means, here two face painted. We are first discussing about only two face painted. Only two face painted, we are discussing about. If we discuss about that, here we are getting two plus two plus two plus two. Total, we are getting eight. Eight here and eight that side also. So, eight plus eight. 16 cubes smaller cubes are having only two face painted and the bigger cube if you see all the four bigger cube are having two face painted so 16 plus 4 only two face painted there are 20 but here what was the question two or more means even three face painted we have to count three face painted where we'll be getting on the vertex on the corners Every vertex will be having one one cube. Total how many vertex are there? Eight are there. So add eight in this. The answer become 28. 
So for this, the answer is option C, 28. Clear? Moving to the next question. How many cubes? Only three face painted. Only three face painted. Exactly three face painted. This everyone knows the answer. Three face painted will get on the vertex. And total eight vertex are there. So for this, no need of any explanation. It is very clear to everyone that we have eight. Only the corners one will be having three face painted. Moving to the next question. How many cubes do not have any of their face painted yellow? See, they are restricting you that yellow paint should not be there. Remaining face paint is there or not there. They are not bothered about it. But yellow paint should not be there. They are restricting you. How many cubes do not have any of their face painted yellow? So yellow restriction is there. Yellow means the deeply shaded one. The top all the cubes will be having yellow face painted. Including the smaller, bigger everyone. Similarly, bottom will be also having yellow face painted because top and bottom we are keeping yellow. So, yellow face not painted, the smaller cube just see, these are there which are having no face painted yellow. How many are there? 4, 4, 8. 8 this side, 8 on the opposite side. So, 8 plus 8, total you will get 16. Now, if you see the bigger cube, this is only the smaller cube. If you see the bigger cube in the middle, they are having compulsory the yellow paint because here top these two are yellow, bottom also yellow. So, these four are having compulsory the yellow paint, but they won't want the yellow paint. So, here the answer is again option C, that is 16. Clear? Moving to the next question. How many cubes have at least, at least one of their face painted black? They want here compulsory that one black paint should be there. Remaining side, whether paint is there or not there, but if black paint is there, you have to consider that. Black paint is actually the white one. The white here is actually the black. Okay, so here we are doing black on the right and the left. So here these four bigger cubes will be compulsory having the black paint. So bigger cube four will be having compulsory the black paint. Now smaller cube, if you say, Smaller cube, this side is this, these all will be having the black paint. Am I right? How many are there? Including the corners, including the vertex. How many are there? Four are there. And four here also. Because opposite face will be painted black. So four plus four, total view you got eight. Eight here, eight that side also. So eight plus eight, total it becomes sixteen. So bigger cube four and smaller cube sixteen. These are having at least one of their face painted black. So, total hour is 4 plus 16. The answer becomes 20. That is option D. Clear? Moving to the next question. How many cubes have at least one of their face painted yellow or blue? Means if it is yellow paint is there, you should count that. Even if blue paint is there, you, can, you have to count that. Because they are using the word or here. Or. Not and. Compulsory yellow should be there or and blue should be there. Not like that. Yellow is there. Then also you have to consider. Blue color one face is there. Then also you have to consider. So my dear friend, you know very well, the smaller cubes are anyhow having all the blue paint. This side all. And that side also, all smaller cubes will be having blue paint. Blue paint, all smaller cubes are having. Because front blue, back blue. Am I right? Now, so here we have 16 and 16. All the 32 smaller cubes are having blue paint, paint, blue face painted. One of the face painted blue. Now, if you see yellow, yellow color, we have done top and bottom. Yellow color is the darker shaded one, top and bottom. All the four bigger cubes are having yellow paint. Because all the four, here two on the top, two on the bottom. So, all the four bigger cube, four bigger cube are also having, these four bigger cube are having compulsory yellow paint. So, compulsory blue paint are 32 smaller and 4 bigger. Means I can say all whatever cuts they have given, all 36 cubes are having at least one face painted yellow or else blue. So, here the answer becomes 36 that is option A. Moving to the next question. How many cubes have no face painted? So, this question becomes very easy if you see the previous question and compare. When I was asking at least one face should be having yellow or blue, then you have counted all 36. Here they are having question no face painted. There is no cube left over now. 
देर वर थर्टी सिक्स टोटल क्यूब्स विच वी आर फॉर्म्ड सो माई डे फेन फॉर दिस द आंसर बिकम्स जीरो नन ऑफ सच क्यूब आर देयर विच आर नॉट हैविंग एनी ऑफ देयर फेस पेंटेड ओके नन ऑफ देयर फेस पेंटेड एवरी क्यूब इज हैविंग द फेस पेंटेड मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी क्यूब्स हैव टू फेस पेंटेड येलो एंड ब्लैक सी दिस इज एंड यूज मीन्स नॉट और कंपल्सरी बोथ शुड बी देयर How many cubes have two faces painted yellow and black respectively? Compulsory yellow and black should be there. So yellow and black. Yellow is this one. Black is this one. If you see the bigger cube, black is compulsory there. Yellow is also compulsory there. So bigger cube. All the four bigger cube are having yellow and black compulsory. If you consider the smaller cube, smaller cube. If you see here, it is top yellow and here it is black. The corner one. Okay. Now remaining, you have yellow, but not the black. This one you have yellow, but not the black. They want yellow and black both. Again, if the, you take this corner one, yellow and black both will be there. Top it will be yellow. Left hand side it will be black. Means we are considering the vertex one. Here also you can find. Here you will find left. Left it will be black. Bottom it will be yellow. Here also, right it will be black. Bottom will be yellow. Means we are considering the vertex. corner corner total 4 here and 4 here so total we have 8 so smaller cube 8 are having yellow and black respectively so total are 4 plus 8 that is 12 is the answer option c again here done moving to the next question the dices now if cube is clear to you my dear friend we can enter into dices now what is dices normally everyone plays this ludo maximum of us we play ludo ludo we play with a dice there will be a dice many other indoor games also have the dices okay the dices what we use in these different games those dices are actually having some property some specification like for example when i play ludo i am this much lucky that if i request uh, that i should get 666 -6 and if i throw the dice i'll get compulsory one so i understood one thing that my luck is this much good that when i'm requesting six i am getting one it means exactly opposite i am getting i am confident on my luck exactly opposite i am getting means i understood six and one are opposite faces six and one are opposite face of the dice if this side is six this side will be one or else you can even call Six plus one, how much it is? Seven. The opposite face for the dice which we play in the different uh, indoor games, the dice which we use in the different indoor games, those dices are having opposite face sum as seven. Like for example, if I say one face is three, what will be the op opposite face? Three opposite will be definitely four. Why? Because three plus four is seven. If I say one face is two, what will be opposite of two? Definitely five, because two plus five is seven. So sum of the opposite face is seven. That is actually the dices which we are using in the different game. That is called as standard dice. That dice will be called as standard dice. So standard dice is having one property: opposite face is always addition of opposite number is always seven. Sum of opposite face is always seven. So this is about the standard dice. But my dear friend, the question what they give you in the various competitive exam, they do not give the question from standard dice. Actually, they give from the general dice. General dice won't have such type of property that opposite sum will be seven or six or five. No such property. Any side, any number can be there. And main the question they ask from the general dice. Now what they do actually in this? They will take a dice. They will roll the dice twice, thrice, or maybe more times. And every time when they roll the dice, they will take a picture. After taking a picture, they will give to you. And with that picture, they will ask you which number is opposite of what, or which face is opposite of what. It can be color, it can be number, it can be alphabets regarding opposite. They will ask. But be careful when they give you the picture. In that picture, you can see only three faces. Again, they roll and give you the picture. There also you can see three faces. Again, they roll and give the picture. They, again, three faces you can see. Every picture you can see only three faces. 
and seeing these three faces in the different roll of the same dice, there we can derive something. So, let's see what we can derive. For that, we have to understand the dices. As I said you, standard dice, general dice, standard dice, anyhow, opposite sum will be opposite phase sum is always 7, but we have to discuss this, some general dice. Now, let us understand the general dice over here. I am drawing a dice. It is somewhat similar like cube only. In the looks, it look like cube. Okay, it is cube itself. Okay, not cuboid. Consider I say here it is 1, here it is 2 and here it is 5. Okay, so dice was rolled and this was the picture taken. You got that. Again, same dice. Again, they rolled and then what the picture they gave you, here it was 2, here it was 1 and here it was 6. So, seeing this, same dice, 2 roll, seeing this, you have to derive something. So, what are the things which we can derive? We'll understand that. Let us understand. So, don't consider the dice here which is drawn. I will draw the dice, consider that. But still, if you consider the dice which is drawn here on the screen, in this dice, consider both the dice are same, roll twice, you can see there are three, three faces. Now, in this two, what you can find common? What is the number which is common in both of them? If I am not wrong, both are having five. Any other number which is common here? No. Any other number which is common here? No. Let's say this is A view of the same dice and this is B view of the same dice. A and B, both the views, when we are seeing in both the views, 5 is the common number in that. So, with this, rule number 1, let us understand what it says. Rule number 1 says that for the same dice, when two views they have given, in both the views, one number is common. Then, do one thing, write the neighbors of that number seeing the picture. Like, for example, in A view, I can say that 5 adjacent number, neighbor, is 6 and 5 adjacent number neighbor is 3 also. Now, same dice rolled once again. There when we got 5, there 5 adjacent number was 4 and 5 adjacent neighbor was even 2. So, which number is missing here? The number missing is 1. So, I can say declare rule number 1 says we can declare here that 5 and 1 will be opposite faces. If this face is 1, this says face will be 5. So, rule number 1 says that in any of the view, if you find common only one, do one thing. For that common, write all the adjacent which are visible to you. The number which is missing, which is not visible, that will be definitely opposite of that common number. Like in this two, 5 was common. When I wrote adjacent of the 5s, I got number 1 is missing. So, I can say 5 and 1 are opposite faces. This is rule number 1. Now, coming to rule number 2. Let us understand the rule number 2. Rule number 2 says, here don't consider this one. Again, same thing you can derive here. Here what you can derive? Here again, both the views you are having only one number common. What is that number? 1 is common. For this, 1 adjacent is 3 and 2. In this, 1 adjacent is 4 and 5. Which, which is missing? 6 is missing. So, I can see and say 1 and 6 are opposite to each other. 6 opposite is 1, 1 opposite is 6. So, this was rule number 1. Now, coming to rule number 2. Let us understand what is rule number 2. Here's the dice. Same dice rolled again. We got this one. Okay. Now, let's say here it is 2, here it is 3, here it is 5. Here it is 3, here it is 2, here it is 6. Now, the same dice when rolled twice, in this what we are getting common? What is common there? I think here two, two numbers are common in both of them. You can see two here as well, here as well. Three here as well, here as well. So, when two, two numbers are common, listen carefully, this is rule two. When two, two numbers are common, then the uncommon number will be exactly opposite of each other. So, uncommon number is five and six. So, 5 opposite will be 6. We can derive this. That is the rule number 2 says. Rule number 1 says, when any one number is common in both the views, write all the adjacent, the neighbors of that number. Which number is missing? That will be opposite. Rule number 2 says that two views are given for the same dice. In that, two, two numbers are common. Then, uncommon number will be exactly opposite to 
ईच अदर क्लियर नाउ लेट सी द रूल नंबर थ्री लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड रूल नंबर थ्री रूल नंबर थ्री इट इज सेम लाइक योर रूल नंबर वन वट एवर व्यू वी हैव सीन इन रूल नंबर वन विद डैट व्यू वी कैन डिराइव समथिंग मोर रूल नंबर वन रूल नंबर वन से इज दैट हियर वट एवर डाइस इज विजिबल हियर ओनली वन नंबर इज कॉमन so you can say the opposite of that common number that is clear to you but we can say opposite of remaining as well how that is the rule number 3 what you have to do only one number is common and that is one here so let's say this is a view and this is b view of the same dice a views is having one b views also having one you know one opposite is 6 because 6 is missing here okay that is clear based on rule number 1 now rule number 2 they say that whatever common number is there from there move clockwise in both the views one by one move clockwise in both the views like here one was common here so i am moving clockwise from here from clockwise how the needle of the clock moves like this so this a view says that first i move clockwise i got 3 again from there i move clockwise i got 2 now b views same thing there also we have to move clockwise from one the common number one we move clockwise we got four from there again we move clockwise we got five so you can say clearly that three and four will be opposite of each other and two and five will be opposite of each other so my dear friend based on these three rules you can sort out all the questions of cubes what they ask in the examination so these three rules should be clear and later on let us go with the practicing the questions what is the question they give rules are clear to all rule number 1 rule number 2 rule number 3 rule number 1 says that if two views of the same dice is given only one number is common then we can say what is opposite of that number by writing all the adjacent numbers of that common number second rule says two views of the same dice is given in that two numbers are common then the uncommon number will be opposite to each other third rule says that if two views are given of the same dice and both are having only one common number then every opposite face we can say so all these three rules are clear now moving to the question here can you just try something let's say this is a view b view c view d view e view and f view of the same dice okay we'll take two 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 views and we'll try to derive something if i take a and b what you can derive pause the video and try to get the answer what you can derive in both the view what is there one is common even two is common one is also common two is also common means three and five are opposite to each other we can directly say three and five are opposite to each other now compare b and c what is common in them both are having two am i right any other number common no so here what we can say by seeing the b and c view only common number is 1 2 so we can say two adjacent is 1 2 adjacent is 5 2 two adjacent is 3 2 adjacent is 6 so two adjacent number are we are having b view says 1 and 5 and c view says two adjacent number are 3 and 6 so which number is missing here that will be opposite so what is missing 2 and 4 will be opposite of each other okay and rule number 3 says not only for two remaining also we can say from two will go clockwise okay so here it says two clockwise will get one and then five here it says from two go clockwise so from two clockwise it is six then three so i can say one opposite is six five opposite is three see we got five opposite as three same dice it is rolled okay one opposite six and we even got two opposite is four everything we can find it out as parallelly you can take the other views and you can compare and check it out what we can derive now this is normally the closed cube they can give you a open cube also if it is a open cube cube is completely opened okay then what will be the case let us understand here here you can see the cube which is opened cube okay the cube which if you close it it will become a cube now in this the opposite faces it is more easier it is more easier in a straight line whether it is vertical or horizontal in a straight line something is given to you remember alternate will be opposite alternates will be opposite like this is coming a straight line so i can say 6 and 3 are opposite to each other okay 
again this is coming straight line so i can say 4 and 5 are opposite to each other now what is left over left over here it is 1 and left over 2 so i can even say 1 and 2 are opposite of each other if you get a straight line their alternate will be exactly opposite to each other clear now moving further to the question when the following figure is folded to form a cube how many dots lie opposite the face bearing five dots so they are asking five opposite what will be there very simple here is the five you can say two and straight line is coming vertical straight line two and six are opposite to each other similarly one and four are opposite alternate you are taking one and four are opposite to each other so leftover is three and five so three and five will be opposite to each other they are asking you regarding five dots five opposite it will be definitely three that is option three see clear next question which cube can be formed folding the given shape on the right so there is a shape given over here based on that shape they are asking you among this which cube can be formed remember in this cases first of all derive what is opposite here this is a straight line i can say f and b are opposite to each other f opposite is b here it is again in the same straight line you can say e and c are opposite to each other because it is coming alternatively left over is a and d so a and d are opposite to each other this we have derived already by deriving this you can check it out with the cube which is having these properties let's say the option a a is saying b e and f are adjacent neighbors b e and f are adjacent can we find any contradiction here we can find the clear contradiction over here that f and b should be opposite here f and b are adjacent so this is not our answer moving to the option b e c b e c e and c are opposite here e and c they have given adjacent we have already derived it is opposite so b is also not our answer moving to c c says f e d are adjacent f f e d yes c one one from each pair they are taking so this is the possible answer definitely but still we'll see whether d is there or not d where the contradiction come they say a d and e are exactly adjacent a d and e a d how they can be adjacent they are opposite so this is not the answer so our answer is option c so this is how we can de derive with the unfolded cube form how the cube will be formed which cube will be formed moving to the next which cube can be formed by folding the given shape on the right that is msq they are asking msq means multiple select question more than one correct answer can be there out of four one can be correct out of four two can be correct out of four three can be correct or all the four option can be correct so anyhow normally msq is not given up till today's date in aptitude but in technical they are asking you msq multiple select question in aptitude they are giving you mcq but here let us understand msq as well okay here which cube can be found folding the given shape on the right here is the given shape here what we understand straight line horizontal straight line we know that this white opposite this white opposite will be this white so two whites should be opposite of each other two whites am i right further we can even say black and two should be opposite to each other black and two the number two should be opposite to each other am i right black and the number two further we can say black and white will be opposite to each other black and white will be opposite to each other remember one thing when we were sorting previous one what we were getting which one we got the correct one one from here one from here one from here then we were saying that yes it is the correct one same way it should come so anyhow will let us understand a option a option a two blacks are adjacent it can happen one black from here one black from here and two how can two come because next should be from this because this black will be having two exactly opposite so this is not our answer moving to option b three whites three whites one white from here one white here and parallelly one more white how is it possible three whites won't come two whites should be opposite so my dear friend this is also not the answer moving to option c two black and white two 
black see i'm taking not taking this black i'm taking from another pair so that it should be possible answer two black and white one any one white it can be yes it is possible answer c can be our possible answer two black and white this is also the same thing so this is our possible answer that is the reason they said msq that is two options are correct over here okay moving to the next question which cube can be formed by folding the given shape on the right all questions they have given here don't worry more for the question we have based on numbers okay so here again the unfolded cube they have given here says two whites are opposite to each other white opposite will be white okay again they say these two whites will be opposite to each other white opposite is white again what they say that the circle and these all shaded part do you know how this face will be created when these all arrows type will be joined it will be created that face will be created something like this okay this portion will remain as black and this portion will be becoming white one of the opposite will be becoming white shaded and one of the opposite will be black shaded by painting this so for this the opposite will be that circle this is what we can derive okay now let us observe which can be the possible cube here what they are doing see shading how they are doing like this shading so anyhow this cannot be the answer shading should be like this even you can see that shading and that o that o or zero you can say that should be opposite but here it is adjacent so anyhow this cannot be the answer moving to option b three whites three whites one white from here one white from here this is not having this pair is not having any white three white it won't come adjacent so this is also not the answer moving to option c they are saying this circle and this shaded one this circle and the shaded one are adjacent so this is not the answer so leftover is option d should be the answer let us check it out circle from here white from here and one more white from here see from three pairs they are taking one one so this is our correct answer that is option d let us move to the next question on the screen observe the dots on a dice now they are giving you the dice okay close dice one to six dots in the following figures how many dots are contained on the face opposite that containing four dots they are asking you opposite of four what will come what is common in both of them i think both are having one common one is there for both of them any other common there no so i can say one opposite what is there what i can say this view says that one adjacent should be two and five and this view says that one adjacent should be ah uh, two two numbers are common five is also common see two two numbers are common not only one even five is common there so uncommon number will be exactly opposite so what is uncommon four and two so four opposite will be two or two opposite will be four they are asking about four so four opposite is two that is with the rule number two okay moving to the next question three different position now they are giving you three different i think two is sufficient but they are giving you three just to confuse you so that to check it out how you are good at observation out of these three any two which two you have to take any two you can take but which two you have to take to reach to the exact answer that is important that totally depends on your practice so here they are saying how many dots lie opposite to two dots opposite to two two is here remaining they are not having two two is here these two are not having two so take these two and let us compare here in these two five is common in both of them remaining are uncommon so one when one number is common based on rule one we can say which is opposite of that common number and based on rule three we can say all so just take this two that's it okay so let us take this two in this two what is common there the common is five so this view says that five adjacent should be one and six one and six are neighbors of five this view says that five adjacent should be four and three so what number is missing here the number missing is 2 so 5 opposite will be 2 or you can say vice versa also 2 opposite is 5 2 opposite is 5 that is option c moving to the next question six faces of a dice has been marked with the alphabets a b c d not only numbers they can even mark with alphabets a b c d e and f they have marked all the six faces respectively this dice is rolled three times the three positions are shown as find the alphabet opposite of a they are asking you opposite of a what will be there 
so if you observe them here a is there in these two a is not there so in these two what is common first we'll take where a is missing so in these two e is common any other common no so you can directly say e adjacent is d and c e adjacent is f and b which is missing that is a so e opposite is a and a opposite is e so a opposite is definitely e that is option c here see not required if you are good at observation my dear friend the rules are running in your mind you can just observe and you can say let us see the next question two position of a dice are shown below if the face with one dot is at the bottom face with one dot is at the bottom then the number of dots on the top means they are asking you one at the bottom on the top means one opposite what will be there so let us understand two views they have given both are having something common three is common in both of them this says three adjacent should be five three adjacent should be four this says three adjacent should be six three adjacent should be two so what is missing one is missing so three opposite will be one or one opposite will be three this is the answer because they are asking for one so one opposite is three next question two position of a dice are shown below they are saying two position and i think here they have given three positions not only three they have given you four position so this is more confusing which one to take if two position is there very fast you are if three or more are there then uh, you get confused but here important is they try to check which one you will take so two position or here four position you can say four position four positions of a dice are shown below if the face with one dot is at the bottom then the number of dots on the top means again they are asking you opposite of one so opposite of one one you can find here one even you can find here so here three is also there three is also there. don't take this one don't take this one when two two are common uncommon will be opposite don't take this one so here if you take uh, this two this two let us take both are not having one so both are having four both are having six also both are having four if you take these two both are having four and both are having six so you can say the uncommon three and five are opposite of each other okay now when you take this two here also two two are common what is common here both are having three both are having one so i can say four and four and two are opposite to each other so four opposite is two with these two view i can say uncommon is four and two three and one both are having okay now three opposite is five four opposite is two so what is missing there one and six so one's opposite will be six so they are asking you opposite of they were asking you opposite of one opposite of one is six that is option d as simple as that okay so moving to the next question a cube has six different symbols drawn over its six faces so six symbols they are drawing here okay not the alphabets not the numbers now the symbols they are drawing on the cube faces the symbols are dot circle triangle square cross and arrow three different position of a cube are shown in the figure x y z three position they are showing for the same dice okay and this dice every face they are drawing some diagram like dot circle triangle square cross and arrow six faces one one two three four five six six faces six different diagram three different position are given which symbol is opposite of dot means they are asking you opposite of dot what will be there so as i said you this is having dot no one is having dot so compare this two compare this two only in this two what is common both are having cross here also cross here also cross any other which is common no nothing is common so i can say cross adjacent should be triangle okay and the square this view says that that is y view z view says that cross adjacent should be circle and arrow so what is the missing over here the dot so dot is missing so i can say cross opposite is dot or dot opposite is cross so they are asking you dot dot opposite will be definitely the cross that is option d moving to the next question three different position x y z of a dice are shown in the figure given below which number lies opposite of six they are asking you opposite of six where is six two are having six so we'll take this one now two are having six okay here six adjacent is four six adjacent is three six adjacent is two six adjacent is five which number is missing here one is missing so six opposite is 
वन और वन ऑपोजिट इज सिक्स विद इन सेकेंड यू कैन से द आंसर इफ यूर रूल्स आर रनिंग इन योर माइंड एंड यू आर गुड एट ऑब्जर्वेशन सो मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट द फोर डिफरेंट पोजिशन ऑफ डाइस आर गिवेन बिलो विच नंबर इज ऑन द फेस ऑपोजिट सिक्स अगेन सिक्स ऑपोजिट दे आर आस्किंग यू सो बोथ आर हैविंग सिक्स थ्री आर हैविंग सिक्स सो दीज थ्री आर हैविंग सिक्स टेक दो व्यूज वेर सिक्स इज नॉट हैविंग द सेम नंबर एज एडजस्टेंट सिक्स एडजस्टेंट इज टू सिक्स एडजस्टेंट इज थ्री हियर सिक्स एंड टू आर देर हियर सिक्स एडजस्टेंट इज फाइव सिक्स एडजस्टेंट इज फोर आई थिंक हियर ओनली सिक्स इज कॉमन इन दीज टू व्यू सो वी विल टेक दीज टू व्यू सिक्स एडजस्टेंट टू एंड थ्री सिक्स एडजस्टेंट फाइव एंड फोर विच नंबर इज मिसिंग वन इज मिसिंग सो सिक्स ऑपोजिट इज वन मीन्स दीज आर ऑल स्टैंडर्ड आइज आई थिंक बिकॉज ऑपोजिट ऑफ सिक्स इज कमिंग वन मीन्स इट बिकम्स अ स्टैंडर्ड आइज बट रिमेंबर डोंट गो फॉर डायरेक्टली दे वोट गिव यू ऑलवेज द स्टैंडर्ड आइज दे कैन गिव यू द जनरल डाइज मैक्सिमम दे विल गिव यू द जनरल डाइज एनी जस्ट वी आई सींग द व्यू यू हैव टू फाइंड इट आउट मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ थ्री इफ फोर डिफरेंट पोजिशन ऑफ अ डाइज आर शोन बिलो ऑपोजिट ऑफ थ्री सो थ्री हियर थ्री ईयर थ्री ईयर अगेन थ्री व्यूज वी आर गेटिंग थ्री वेर विल टेक विच वन विल टेक वेर नो डाउट यू कैन डिराइव विथ टू 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 बट इट विल बी टाइम टेकिंग वी शुड बी स्मार्ट वर्कर नॉट द हार्ड वर्कर स्मार्ट वर्कर सो विल टेक वेर थ्री इज नॉट हैविंग द कॉमन हियर थ्री एडजस्टेंट इज टू थ्री एडजस्टेंट इज सिक्स एंड हियर थ्री एडजस्टेंट इज वन थ्री एडजस्टेंट इज फाइव सो दिस टू वी विल टेक वाई आई एम नॉट टेकिंग दिस वन बिकॉज हियर अगेन थ्री एडजस्टेंट इज अगेन सिक्स सो आई एम नॉट टेकिंग दैट वन so this view says first view says three adjacent number should be 2 and 6 last view says that three adjacent number should be 1 and 5 so which number is missing here the number missing is 4 so three opposite will be definitely 4 or four opposite will be 3 so they are asking you three opposite so definitely four that is option b clear moving to the next question three different position x y z of a dice are shown in the given below which number lies at the bottom face in the position y in the position y what number is at the bottom face see the way they ask the question the way they present the question they are not giving you any number they are asking you in the y view what is at the bottom means they are trying to ask what is opposite of 4 4 opposite will be at the bottom because 4 is on the top so bottom will be opposite of 4 opposite of 4 now here what we see these two are having 4 Here it says four adjacent is one and five. Here it says four adjacent is three and six. So which number is missing? With four, if you see one is there, five is there, three is there, six is there. Which number is missing? Two is missing. So four opposite will be definitely two. So two will be at the bottom. That is option B. Okay, don't go for kind by determine. Don't select that option. Okay, we can determine. It's easy. With two, you are determining three. Four, you can easily determine. Now, four position of a dice are shown below. What number must be at the bottom face when the dice is in the position of figure three? Again, figure three. They are talking. I mean, they are asking you three opposite. Three opposite. They are asking any other is having three. No other is having three. So now, will what will do? Will take these three. Will take. Okay. We don't take this one. Now, others they are not having three. Leave it. Okay. So moving to both are having four. and both are having 5 also so we will not take this here both are having 4 and both are not having any other number common so take first and last view 4 adjacent is 6 4 adjacent is 5 4 adjacent is 2 4 adjacent is 1 so 1 2 5 6 all are done with 4 adjacent so which number is missing 4 opposite will be that number missing that is 3 so they are asking you 3 opposite that will be 4 that is option c clear moving to the next The four different position of a dice are given below. Which number is on the face opposite of six? Opposite of six, they are asking. Here both are having six. Six adjacent three. Six adjacent four. Six adjacent five. Six adjacent two. What is missing? One is missing. So six opposite is one. So here they have given these many options. It will be not this one. Six opposite. We can say directly it will be one. Okay, just by seeing this two view, we can say. Moving to the next. Two position of a dice are shown below. When two is at the bottom, what number will be on the top? Means they are asking you, two is at the bottom. What number on the top? Means two opposite. Two opposite. What they are here? What is common in both of them? Both are having three. Here three adjacent is six and one. Here three adjacent is two and five. So which number is missing? The number missing is four. So three opposite will be. Three opposite will be. Which number is missing? One is there. Two is there. 
थ्री एनी हाउ कॉमन फोर इज मिसिंग सो थ्री ऑपोजिट इज फोर बट दे आर नॉट आस्किंग यू थ्री ऑपोजिट दे आर आस्किंग यू टू ऑपोजिट नाउ कमिंग टू रूल नंबर थ्री रूल नंबर थ्री से इज डैट इफ वन नंबर इज कॉमन वी कैन से ऑल द ऑपोजिट सो वन वी गॉट रिमेनिंग ऑल्सो वी कैन गो फर्स्ट व्यू एंड सेकेंड व्यू बोथ आर हैविंग थ्री इन फर्स्ट व्यू विथ थ्री वी गो क्लॉक वाइज दैट इज सिक्स देन अगेन क्लॉक वाइज दैट इज वन इन सेकेंड व्यू विथ थ्री वी गो क्लॉक वाइज दैट इज फाइव अगेन क्लॉक वाइज दैट इज टू सो आई कैन से सिक्स एंड फाइव आर सॉरी थ्री एडजेसेंट is 6 then here it is 1 here it is 1 and here 3 adjacent clockwise 5 then 2 so 6 and 5 are opposite to each other 1 and 2 are opposite to each other but here we are getting 2 and 4 should be opposite to each other how is it possible 2 and 4 why we got it should be 3 and 4 na this is 3 half it is deleted by mistake it is 3 3 was common so 1 and 2 are opposite 6 and 5 are opposite 3 and 4 are opposite so what they are asking opposite of 2 opposite of 2 that is 1 1 means option c don't go for can't be determined check it out you are aware of all the rules moving to the next question two position of a dice are shown below when two is at the bottom what number will be on the top two oppo two opposite they are asking what is common in both of them if you find there is nothing common ha ah, yes six is common this is having six this is having six so if six is there common i can say all the opposite let us go this is a view this is b view a view says six b view also says six in a view if i go in a view and this is b view okay a view from six i'll go clockwise that is two then one so two then one in b view this is b view b view six i go clockwise that is 4 then 3 so 4 and 3 so i can say two opposite is 4 one opposite is 3 and six opposite is which number is missing here which number is missing 5 6 and 5 are opposite so what they are asking when two is at the bottom what number on the top two opposite they are asking two opposite is 4 that is option c clear moving to the next two position of a cube are shown below when the number 4 will be at the bottom the number which will be on the top four opposite they are asking what will be there so in both the view what is common both are having one any other number common no so but four is here means we'll go for rule number 3 we'll go a view b view both a and b view both are having one one as common a view says clockwise after one there is four from 4 again the clockwise it is 2 b view says after 1 the clockwise that is 3 and again the clockwise that is 5 so 4 and 3 are opposite 2 and 5 are opposite they are asking the opposite of 4 it will be 3 that is option a clear this one two position of a dice are shown below when the number 1 is on the top what number will be at bottom means they are asking the opposite of 1 what is common in them both are having 6 both are having 4 Two two numbers are common. Rule number two. Rule number two says that when two two numbers are common, the uncommon number will be opposite to each other. So one opposite will be five, or five opposite is one. They are asking you one opposite. That is five. Option C. So my dear friend, this was about your the topic dices as well as the cubes. So my dear friend, practice more number of question. Make yourself perfect and. as the more you practice the more perfect you become the more confidence you will get and you can easily within seconds you can say the answer of these reasoning topics so hope you have enjoyed the session thank you all meet you in the next session till then keep practicing be home be safe take care thank you